As George Bernard Shaw once said, a life spent making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing. My freshman year, I tried out for the baseball team, but sadly I was cut. After baseball tryouts, I tried out for the basketball team, but unfortunately, I was cut again. During my sophomore year, I decided I wanted to play football. Once again, I was cut from another team. Instead of being depressed about being cut from nearly every single sports team offered, one person popped into my mind, Michael Jordan, who was cut from his high school team his sophomore year. Can you believe it? A national legend cut from his high school basketball team? I decided I would spend the rema remainder of my time in the gym, getting bigger, better, faster, and stronger. I became more motivated than ever, seeing it as a challenge to make one of the teams. By my junior year, I decided to play football again. The coaches were totally clueless of how I had been cut the previous year. Although I would go on to ride the bench my entire junior year, my senior year was a completely different story. With a newly found passion for football burning in my body, I kicked ass on the football field that year. I've become very awarded, including all district title, invitation to the play in the East versus West All-Star Game, and being awarded Offensive Lineman of the Year by my coaches. Although I proved myself on the football field, I hadn't been noticed by any colleges. One thing I wanted most was to play college football. This is where I learned one of my most valuable life lessons. Never stop chasing your dreams. I was determined to be noticed by college coaches. I put together my own highlight film, which I sent to every single college football coach in the state of Kentucky, except for UK of course. I could never see myself wearing a blue jersey. Of all the colleges in Kentucky, only three of them gave me a response. The first two coaches said, son, you're a damn good player, but we just don't have any more spots left on the team. The third coach from the University of the Cumberlands immediately scheduled me a visit. On the visit, he offered me a full ride scholarship to become a Patriot to play football for the university. Of course, I gladly accepted his offer. It was my dreams come true. Now I don't feel nearly as bad for being cut from the baseball, basketball, and football team. When I stand before God at the end of my life, I would hope that I would not have a single bit of talent left, and I could say, I used everything you gave me, God. Use your talents wisely because you never know what you got until it's gone, and it could easily be taken away from you. The truth is, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Life is a crazy ride and nothing is guaranteed. All life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better. Believe that life is worth living and your belief will help create that fact. And to explain the mistakes that I make each and every day, if we don't do stupid things while we're young, we'll have nothing to smile about when we're old. Really, I have a simple philosophy. Fill what's empty, empty what's full, and scratch where it itches. Cherish your real friends and love your enemies. You never know when God will take either one in your life.